I have been asked this question at least 500 times. I was gonna make a video about it on TikTok, but that would take too long. So for this, grab a phone, laptop, football, fruit punch, because it's about to get real. What's up guys, Clifford here, back again with another video. I'm never saying that again. But anyway guys, you see the title. It's something you guys have been asking me about for what seems like forever. How did I end up in LA? And more importantly, how did I land my job? For this, we gotta go back to about February of this year. So that was during the time of my last semester at the University of Florida. And at the time, my TikToks weren't really hitting like before because I didn't play for the Gators anymore. But one of my advisors at Florida, Hey Allison, she gave me this idea of doing an internship for Wilson Sporting Goods. It was a six week internship program and the program was called Winning Edge or Gigs for Game Changers. And they had about five different positions available but the one I chose was talent and influencer research. But to make a long story short, interviewed for the role, got the role, did a whole presentation in front of the entire Wilson Sporting Goods board and yeah. It was a great internship. So it ended around the first week of April. And then at that point, I was kind of shifting my mind back to you know graphic design. I just figured, okay, my career is gonna end up doing something in graphic design, whether it was for a sports team, a corporation, whatever. I was just gonna go back to doing graphic design. But I just happened to be on Twitter one day and I saw new social media coordinator role for the Rams, job opening. And I just figured, that's a pretty sweet gig. And then I saw that, you know, Winnie Edge, the internship that I just did, they liked this. So I was like, oh, I guess maybe they maybe they know him. So under the tweet, I just replied with the eye emojis and really didn't think beyond that. And then Wilson said, do you want us to speak to them on your behalf? And I was like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to say no to that. So they sent a tweet on my behalf. And then about a week later, they DM me saying, hey, the Rams want your, you know, your resume, your cover letter, all that good stuff. So I was like, Dang, so you're saying I got a chance? So I sent it over to them, and at that point, they said, hey, hit up so-and-so and make sure that you, you know, stay in the loop. So this is the part of the video where my advice kicks in. My advice is, as soon as you submit that application, start doing research on the staff, because I was searching high and low. It didn't matter what department they were in. I was trying to talk to anybody who was anybody for the Rams, <laughs> and thankfully, it worked. Also, I think this is pretty obvious, goes without saying, but when you're doing interviews for these sports teams, do not ask about the players. Don't ask about tickets. Don't ask about free gear. None of that. Because 99.9% .9 of your interview could go really good, but if you ask anything around that, you're done. So I did a couple of interviews and I kept advancing round after round after round. And then I didn't get the job, which in essence was very humbling. So after getting word, I wasn't advancing to the either the second or final round of interviews for this job. I was just thinking like, what went wrong? What did I say? Was it my posture? Like, what did I do wrong? But then I had to remind myself like, there's probably a lot more qualified people for this role because I was at that point, nothing more than a TikToker and someone who just had a great internship with Wilson. And you know, I can't forget intern for the Gators too, you know what it is. <laughs> so got rejected and then about three hours later I was asked about a new role for the Rams and I was like, oh well, it's nice that they want me still in the loop and it was for social media and design. This is gonna be an IT role so, you know, my responsibilities were probably a little lighter but you know, hey, social media and graphic design, those are my two strengths, why not? So I just jumped in the line of interviews for that role and thankfully, Landed the job. So my role consists of exactly how it sounds, <laughs> you know, handling social media, what goes on TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm one of, you know, four members on a team that gets content out there. Don't get me wrong, I don't I don't post everything like no, I like guess it's, it's not just me. Like it is it is a sea of people that have a lot of, you know, contributions and a lot of responsibilities towards the social team. 
it's not just me. Neither is graphic design. I don't do all the creative media. I only do, you know, a few. I'm not gonna, you know, say which ones. I think you can kind of get an idea of the ones that I've done. I kind of showed it in some previous TikToks before. But nonetheless, it's been a dream job. I mean, major in graphic design, do social media. Like, you put those together, that's a dream. But I will say the move to LA was Stressful. I kept looking at places to live, whether it was in North Hollywood, uh, the Valley, they call it, you know, Thousand Oaks, Calabasas. I was looking everywhere and just searching apartments. LA, they do it different. Like everything about California has been such a culture shock. It costs less for premium in Florida than regular here. Like it's wild. And I mean, hey, during the process of, you know, transitioning to LA, I had a whole meltdown in like the middle of June, right before I was about to start working virtually. And I would look at, you know, the people I was about to start working with and see like their experience and their resumes. And I was just like, am I really, am I built for this role? Because to be honest, coming in, I thought everybody was gonna hate me. They're just like, oh, like this guy's a TikToker. He thinks he knows everything about social media. Like that's, that's what I was thinking about. But being here for a few months now, that couldn't be further from the truth. Everybody here has been amazing. They've welcomed me with open arms and, like I said, it's been a dream job. But thankfully, LA's been great. I've been able to make some you know, good friends out here. I actually even ran into a, a UF alumni club up here. And every Saturday, we have a watch party for the games and amazing group of people, amazing. Now, this is the part of the video where I tell you, what exactly do I do? For this role, you gotta know social media pretty much inside and out. And for the design part of my job, you gotta be an Adobe wizard. I'm talking about Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere. You gotta know all that. And thankfully I do because graphic design was my, my major, so easy money. But again, if you know social media, like the analytics, you know, what people want and you know, Adobe through and through, you're pretty much in the door already. So yeah, that's how I ended up in LA. Also guys, if you have any questions about, you know, the social media world, the graphic design world, working for a sports team, drop them in the comments. I'm trying to answer as many as I can, but hey, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the whole jazz. Notifications on. Peace. Also, before this video ends, I forgot. These jerseys are sick, man. <laughs> These throwbacks, I'm feeling it. All right, end the video. Peace.